Okay, guys. I'm sorry I haven't posted a video. Team Meli talk. I'm just going to call our team. When we talk about Team Meli, when we talk about Iran, I'm just going to call these videos Team Meli talk. But, um, yeah. Uh, I've been gone for a while. Busy. I might have my last final tomorrow. Okay? But, <clears throat> tomorrow, Iran is back after that disgusting depressive depressing performance uh, at asia cup let's not talk about that too much we're talking about the future i said in my last live stream the last time i talked about Iran, it is now time to look forward youth and build for the world cup and tomorrow our first world cup qualification game against turkmenistan starts can someone tell me why are we playing turkmenistan two times in a row so we play them tomorrow and we play them on next tuesday so if someone can tell me that, please let me know, um, because I can I couldn't figure it out. But okay, the the squad was announced. I mean, it's what we expected. Galanoi came out and said that he will bring in more youth players and he will begin to phase out the older players. Now he still called up Rezaian. He still he, you know he still he still called up Khalizada and Kanani, but he brought in some young guys. He brought in some young guys. Fala Fala has Bavir there. Um, Nur Afghan, I don't, you know, I don't watch too much of, too, too much of Persian Gulf Pro League, but he's there, he's 26, obviously Mohamed is there, but obviously the future of our defense is right back, Moharami, still recovering from his ACL injury, I'm praying, praying that he comes back the same player, because he was going to be the leader of that defense, or at least the best defender for Iran in the next five to six years. But let's see how he returns from that ACL injury. In the midfield, we got our standards. Golizade, what's the... Let's see, will he actually play Golizade? Will he actually play Golizade when, when you call him up? Goldos is there, obviously. Torabi, Ezotulai, blah, 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 blah. Attackers bring some young guys in for attackers. Alayar Sayad, Sayad Manesh is there. He was doing great at hole. He's now in a weird spot in his career. I, I'm not too confident in him being the future, but... Osmond is still 26, 27, I think. So he's still kind of the future of our attack, which is weird to say because Osmond has been in, Iran, in Team Medley for so freaking long. He's been on the books for us for so many years now. Obviously, Tottenham is there, but like I asked for in my last Iran stream against uh, Qatar when we got destroyed and embarrassed and de de circumcised. We need to start playing the younger guys. We need to give new guys looks in because we have proven in the last couple of tournaments that, sure, we love Tarami, we love Jahan Baksh, we love these players, but they can't get over that line to get us to an Asia Cup final, an Asia Cup win, a round of 16 World Cup appearance. Obviously, this next World Cup, less excuses for Iran because there's round of 32 now for Iran. There's round of 32 Many of the third place teams are going to make it to the round of 32. So there's really no excuse for Iran. Iran will 100% play their first World Cup knockout game in the next World Cup. And we need to prepare this team. Galinoy needs to choose the right players. Give the right players chances and choose the correct team. Get them playing the correct way. So that we are prepared for that round of 32 game. Because I guarantee you, if we do not make the round of 32 and we get fourth in our group... Then I'm done with this team. I'm done with it. I'm done with Team Medley. I will never make another Team Medley video again. But we will have to see in two years what happens. So, you know, I wanted to go through the squad. I honestly haven't had too much time to research any of the new players because I'm so busy with school. But I'm going to talk about... I'm Sorry, I thought I heard a thing in the background. I'm going to talk about my expectations. Starting with Turkmenistan. A weak-ass team. Tur 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 Turkmenistan... God, why can't I even say Turkmenistan is weak. We should be smashing them 3-4-5-0. No excuses. Young players need to get chances. Sure, give Rezaian, Khalizade, these guys game time. But you need to slowly phase these bums out and get the younger guys in. That's what needs to happen. So what I'm expecting against Turkmenistan and what I'm, what I'm expecting from Galinoy and Team Meli for the next two years. We have two years until the next World Cup. I'm expecting us to work on keeping the ball on the freaking ground. Keep that ball on the ground. I am tired of Iran being known as defensive team and long balls. Because we know, you watching know, Osmond, Tarami, Galinoy, every 
person in this team, everyone involved in the Iranian Football Federation knows that this team has the quality and players to keep the ball on the freaking ground. It's like the Iran team is afraid of gravity. They want to defy gravity with all these long balls that we do. We would have won Asia Cup if we just played that freaking ball on the ground against Qatar. And we would have smashed Jordan in the final. <clears throat> but no, we buckled and we got scared and we resorted to long ball. I heard Galinoy on the sidelines asking for no long ball when we were playing Syria. I remember him screaming, Boland Nazan, Boland Nazan. He said that, he said that so many times. So Iran, starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time, I want you guys to keep that ball on the ground. Cross when you need to, but I better not see against Turkmenistan. I better not see Khalizadeh, Rezaian, doing 60-yard long ball. And then I see Osman and Tarami try to flop for a penalty. I'm done with that. With That is not the future. That is not how we're going to get better. Keep the ball on the ground. Work your passing. We're obviously going to qualify for the, for the next World Cup. Teams like Hong Kong, Turkmenistan, blah, 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 are not going to get in our way. It's a 48-team World Cup. Iran is guaranteed to be in a World Cup for now on. We don't have to stress about qualification too much, okay? We've proven that we could be comfortable in qualification. Now, let's take a chance in these games to work. We have to still win. Don't get me wrong. We have to still win, but let's take some time, put some effort into learning how to be comfortable playing on the ground. Listen, Iran doesn't have to be a team like Germany, Spain, France that knows how to play knows how to play out of the back. If you want to go long ball off goal kicks and out of the back when we're in our own defensive third and then have Tarami Osman as Atolai work for the ball back, cool. I'm not asking us to be this perfect Bayern, Barcelona, Man City play out of the back team. I know our limitations. But when we have the ball, when we're pressing a team back, when we are under pressure and we have the ball in midfield, do not resort to long balls. When we're trying to push the ball up the field, don't resort to long balls. Resort to a passing play because you guys, in that Qatar game, our goal, one of our goals, came from passing. A lot of the best goals we scored at that Asia Cup came from nice, smooth passing, working the ball. Okay, then we get it for a cross in an actual crossing position. I don't want to see 60 yard long ball crosses from the halfway line. I don't want to see it anymore. No more, please. I don't want to see Tarami and Osmoon dive for another penalty. If they dive for another penalty, let's send them to the freaking Olympics for the diving team. Iran's diving team. Okay? Keep it on the ground. This is the message of this video. Iran, tomorrow, keep it on the ground. Keep it simple. This is our chance. We're better than we are going to guarantee. We are guaranteed uh, a World Cup spot. Make sure to win. But also, instead of just going out there and winning and scoring as many goals as we can, let's work on our play. Let's work on our passing. This is the perfect time. Let's start to phase out some of the older players. Yeah? And let's start giving Gayadi, who was so good at the beginning of Qatar Cup, uh, 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 of, uh, not Qatar Cup, what am I saying? Asian Cup. But then all of a sudden, Gayadi doesn't get any more game time in the quarterfinals, semifinals. Golizade. Technical players that we have. Osmun, very technical. Tarami, obviously very technical. We have the players to be able to pass and pass our way to goals. Not just long ball, lucky deflection, penalty goals. Real quality goals. Iran has that. And two years is enough time for Iran to get comfortable playing that way. And so that Iran is a two-dimensional. They're not just a one-dimensional team. Iran can be a fully-fledged two-dimensional, three-dimensional team. We can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best teams in the world passing. We can play super defensive, park the bus. We can play counterattack. We can do that. We just have to work on it. So that's my message to Iran. Turkmenistan at home in the, tomorrow. I'm expecting us to win. I don't know. Clean sheets and a win is what Iran needs to be working on. Because as much as I talked about the passing, one more thing I want to land, land on is we need to work on keeping clean sheets. Because clean sheets, you guys, when we want, when we play, I'm already telling you now, Iran is going to play a round of 32 game in US World Cup 2026. 
Clean sheets is the key to knockout football, and we need to work on clean sheets as well. No more stupid mistakes. No more getting out of position. Khalizade, Kanani, Hosseini. Rezaian, no more getting caught out of position. Mohammadi, no more front flip throw-ins like you did in 2018. Pull your big boy pants up. Play responsibly. This Iran team has the ability to be a problem and to make a round of 32, round of 16 in the next World Cup. And it all starts tomorrow. The new age, the two years of building for the next World Cup starts tomorrow. I have faith. And no more sacking coaches. That's another thing. Galinoy has to be our coach for the next World Cup. Two years, same coach, new players, experienced players building the team. Work on the passing. Work on the defense. Do not resort to ugly long ball football. We cannot, we cannot defy the laws of gravity. It's been proven now. So let's get past that. All right? This middle call game. This weird. I'm filming this on my phone. So if the sound sucks, the video sucks, I'm sorry. I just realized the game's tomorrow. And I, I thought it was on Friday. So I was like, okay, I'll make a video tomorrow. But here's the video. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. <sighs> Wish me luck for my final tomorrow. It's going to be rough. Peace.